Okay, three-dimensional figures, also known as solids. So um, a polyhedra is, is a, uh, a solid figure that's made up of polygons. Okay, and by the way, the, the singular for that is uh, a polyhedron. So a polyhedron or many polyhedra, right? It's just the plural of that, okay? Um, so um, we've got uh, prisms, which uh, they can look sort of like boxes, um, but a prism might also look sort of like a tent, okay? Um, so it's, a, it's a, a figure is repeated throughout of it, uh, throughout it is one way you can think about it, right? So this rectangle, I could repeat that all the way through. So I could cut this up like a loaf of bread and give all my friends a slice that is exactly the same um, size and shape. That would be a rectangular size slice. Likewise, um, with this one that looks kind of like a tent, I could cut this up like a loaf of bread, give everybody a triangular slice that's the same um, size and shape, okay? And with this last one, um, I could cut this like a stack of pancakes and give everyone a pentagon shaped pancake that's the same size, right? Um, so those are all prisms, okay? If uh, you've got a figure that comes to a point, then this is a pyramid, right? Um, so these are all pyramids. We're probably, probably think of a pyramid that looks like this with a, with a square base or maybe a rectangular base, but you can have other bases as well. So you could have a triangular base or um, a hexagonal base. Okay, and the way you name these figures, all of these prisms and pyramids, you name them by the bases. So um, this is a rectangular prism. Okay, so this would be, uh, looks like a square. So if that's a square, you could say a square um, pyramid, but um, let's just say, yeah, I guess I can't be 100% sure that's a rectangle either, but looks like a rectangular prism. And then we've got a triangular prism and a triangular pyramid. Okay, and then this would be a pentagonal prism. And this would be a hexagonal pyramid. Okay, all right, so that's how to name those. Okay, and then I've got some figures that, are, these are solid figures, but they're not polyhedra because they're not made of polygons. They all have curved shapes somewhere in them. And circles are not, are not polygons, so these don't count as polyhedra, even though they are solid figures. But they're just not um, polyhedra. So when I say polyhedra up here, these ones are polyhedra. Um, and these are, are also solids, so are those, but these are not polyhedra. Um, they're not polyhedra, okay? Um, all right, and then some vocab down at the bottom. Um, so this is a triangular pyramid here, okay? The polygons that make up the sides, all of this, so that the triangles and the uh, rectangles that make up all the sides, these are called faces. Okay, the triangles, those are the figures that are repeated throughout. So these are going to be the bases. Like you might think, well, I could give everyone a rectangular slice, and you could. The, there's a rectangular slice on the bottom, and everyone would get rectangles, but they'd get smaller and smaller as you got nearer the top, right? So the rectangles couldn't be bases. None of the rectangles. These um, triangles would be bases because you can uh, repeat that figure throughout. Okay, and then the rectangles um, are going to be um, the lateral faces. So they're kind of like the sides. The sides that aren't, um, aren't faces are called lateral faces. Polygons that make up the sides, right? 
okay? And the height is going to be the distance between your bases, okay? So it's the distance between the bases, and it's got to be the perpendicular distance because that's what we really mean by the distance, okay? So, you know, if I've got a loaf of bread style, then it's uh, my height is going to be the distance between the, the first slice and the last one, right? And so if going back up here to this pentagonal prism, my height there would be the distance between the pentagons, okay? Be it the, uh, the perpendicular distance. And that's it.